Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been quite a while, I think, since I've been on here, unfortunately. Um, I actually filmed a video for you guys, but it was so exhausting. Um, I took so many breaks, it literally took me half of an entire day. Um, I took breaks because lighting was kind of annoying, and then there were just so many products. But I did a lip product declutter, um... These guys triggered the declutter from occurring because I purchased these and I was like, what did you just do? Because you have so much stuff. So <laughs> I went into my collection and I actually went everywhere, all over my house. I collected all the lip products I could possibly find. I didn't go in my car or my purse. Those were the only two places I didn't go because those products were actually being used. So I was happy they were getting used. So I didn't think it was important to put them in the collection. Um, they were going to be, uh, out of, uh, like on their way out after I've used them. So I'm happy they're getting some love and they're going to be done. Um, it was just the stuff that was sitting in my beauty vanity in my, on my bedside table on my, um, I have multiple fridges that had <laughs> turned into a lip, um, beauty fridge without it being necessarily a beauty fridge in the first place. Um, but I, yeah, I went crazy and purchased quite a few lip products. So this was all lips, as you can see. I only have one pair of lips, but I'm absolutely addicted to lip products, as you can see. And it's mostly um, balms and glosses that I'm addicted to in lip oils. Like, give me a good balm, gloss, or oil, and I'm there. Um, I'm dropping some some hefty chunks of change. Um, yeah, I need to stop, though, because I have enough products that honestly will last me lifetimes and lifetimes over. Um, yeah, so I... Uh, look out for that video. I'm still working on putting it all together because, again, I had to um, film it in, in multiple pieces and then now I'm putting them together. Whereas most of my videos, I try to do it all in one take. I like the organic nature of videos. As I said before, I really liked when I felt like I was connecting with the people I was watching. Um, it wasn't heavily edited videos, but now you don't know what's real and what's fake out there. <laughs> but yeah so today what i have in front of me are the two items that i wanted to pick up um these guys are iterations of previous collections for valentine's day that has come out in the past i think this exact combo came out like two years prior but last year's version came with a full size of the pot in the the berry the original berry um, and then the same size deluxe mini. So it's not like the super mini, but it's the uh, one step up above from um, the mini mini that we get as samples. Um, and yeah, so a lot of people are upset that these came back because they think they were exactly the same price, if not a dollar more or less. I don't remember. I feel like I paid $24 last year or $25 maybe. I don't know. Um, they were about the same price, and these guys only have 10 grams of product, whereas these guys have 20 grams. So that full-size berry, now they're duping us out of 10 grams of product per set. And yeah, a lot of the like the stuff I'm seeing online are just people saying, what a ripoff this is. But to be completely honest, I'm buying it for the chocolate. I do enjoy this product in my purse as an easy go-to. The pink blush is pretty, and it's a good product. So I'm not mad at it. Um, it's still cheaper than buying this individually. It's like getting something free, honestly. But um, I've been waiting for them to come out with the full size of the chocolate because this is one of the only chocolate scented lip balms that I actually enjoy that actually smells pretty realistic. Most chocolate scented anything is just not for me. Um, it has that gross, icky, um, artificial chocolate that almost smells like, I don't know, Cheetos. I don't know. It's gross. But this one to me it smells really good. So, and, and you know, there's resellers that will sell you the same product for like three or four times the price. So, 
um, I'm happy they're back because I didn't not like I'm working on the one my deluxe mini I'm almost out so I was like I'm holding off and I'm not gonna buy from someone who's gonna sell me this same product for like three or four times the price like that's not okay I think that's super messed up but I mean that's that's the name of the game right they make a profit um, it was our snooze I guess so this is why I have two of these because in case I really love it like I loved this one the limited edition version um, and I hate it I mean I end up loving it how am I gonna get it you know I'm not gonna buy it for $40 I'm sorry I'm just not um, I'll pay $40 for a really great Dior product but a lip balm that I use that literally I've got a thousand other ones um, that do the same like people will argue with me trust me you'll see my collection and I'll tell you that there are products <laughs> that um, do the same thing and I'm being completely honest um, so I have no desire to pay more than 26 now I think they're 26 dollars now they used to be 22 and then you used to be able to buy these on like Korean sites for like $15 so they're like 10 11 dollars more than they used to be guys like that's insanity but we're still buying it <laughs> we're still the ones um, condoning the insane behavior by these companies and the inflation right um, anyway I wanted to purchase the cotton candy because it's limited edition and it sounded divine especially for when the um, weather starts to warm up a bit so let me open it you guys are probably like stop talking and get to the products but um, I actually opened it previous because I filmed this once before and yeah, this looks so beautiful. I'm not going to lie. Like, look at this. Very aesthetically pleasing. Love the swirl marks. I hate this scent. This smells absolutely disgusting i'm sorry i'm sorry to all of you who love it i'm sorry if i'm offending anybody the people who created it this is disgusting this smells like if you close your eyes and pretend this is cotton candy you can kind of smell like a cotton candy in there like you can get where they were going but it smells to me like that nasty remember when you're little and like it's like this giant chunk of pink gum I think it's called hubba bubba I don't know but they're like thick and when you chewed it it would like fill your whole mouth it smells like that plus a little hint of cotton candy and um chemicals I don't want to sniff it again because it was starting to make me feel like nauseated yeah this is the one I sniffed I'm gonna put it here because I'm gonna give that to a family member I did not open this didn't put my nose near it at all this one's gonna go as a gift to someone <laughs> um, yeah I I don't want them they can go in the trash I'm sorry like I'm so sorry to anybody who loves it and to the creators the these however I didn't open them um, run-of-the-mill standard stuff not too excited to be honest happy to have this as backup so that's what that is this I wanted an SPF lip balm um, I've been really heavily using my SPF on my hands on my body um, I just thought you know I don't put anything on my lips let's try it the reason why I've not purchased anything with SPF on my lips since this is because I have tried it in the past and it triggers my eczema um, but this was such a good deal like I feel like one of these products is 22 so like and these are both full-size items oh, by the way if you were wondering um, I love the look of, like, the neutral tones of these containers, like, hold on. Eee. Mm. Okay. So 
I really love. I love this container. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm weird. It's a simple things, but this looks so beautiful in my opinion. Um, just a brown, simple, flat, wide pot. I'm excited because it's flat and wide because anybody who has nails, even as short as mine, um, you can just put the pads of your finger and rub it across instead of like digging. Um, when the pots are small, you got to put your finger this way. You have less room to go this way. Um, but this is what it looks like. And it smells so good. It smells like a sweet vanilla. Yeah, very inoffensive, very run-of-the-mill, nothing super special with the scent, but it's so good that, yeah, I'll definitely be using this. I'm excited to see what the consistency is like, um, but reading the reviews, people seem to have nothing but good things to say about this product, as well as its um, sister product, and I will show you that. So, this is what she looks like, and there is 0.35 ounces or 10 grams, so just like this. Um, and then the applicator is exactly like the Laneige, and just like um, the Summer Fridays, they have that soft, squishy, like silicone applicator. It's a clearish balm. I, again, I filmed this once before and I tried it and it did not make my lip itch. So I think I found my SPF lip balm um, that I'm just going to wear on top of whatever I'm wearing or when I'm out in the sun. Um, it's going to be my daily, every way, every day outside balm. So... Uh, thank you for watching. I hope I didn't make you guys sad about the cotton candy. It's just my preference. Go smell it. You might love it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm so sorry to you guys who are really excited about it. I'm always excited. Um, I like to buy those in doubles because like I didn't for a while. And do they remember like there was a gingerbread one or I think it's called ginger snap. That was so good. That was so good. And I only have one, and that's sad to me. Um, so I'm, like, cherishing it, and I don't want to do that. Like, I have too many products in my collection for me to pretend to, like, oh, I got to savor it. Like, no, I got to use it before it goes bad. So please watch my next video, you guys, if you love um, lip products. That's going to be the, the video for you. Um, there's so much stuff there. Um, every single lip balm I've ever found, there's something in there. And you know what's funny? It's like, now that I'm thinking, I'm missing some um, Dahlia, like, huh. I'm missing some products, so I don't know where those are. But watch the video. Um, give me suggestions on how to, like, use these products up more or quickly. Um, and then I gotta quickly say that I will do another quick video with a haul from Fenty. Um, I've never had the lip plushies, and I've never been disappointed with Fenty lip products. So I purchased, like, a, the holiday plushies because they were on sale. And then, um, I had, like, a 10% coupon. So then I bought the green one, too. Never tried them. Have no idea how they work, but they look really thick and, um, like, moisturizing. Again, I'm obsessed, and I don't know why. Um, I think it's the motion or having that feeling on my lips constantly. Also, I did do my nails um, in honor of Valentine's Day, but I'm not used to, like, this bright of a color on my hand, and especially red. So I feel like my hands look like it's bothering me. Um, anyway, happy early Valentine's. Thank you for watching my video and coming back. I hope this was somewhat entertaining. Let me know if you guys like that smell. Um, let me know if you smell what I'm smelling too. All right. Bye.